right, y'all. Uh, welcome back. So I just wanted to show you how to set up your assignment and kind of get things going. So um, as you're starting to create your logo, um, what I'm going to do is just kind of put this on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. We want this just a little bit bigger so that it fits the whole background. And this is just going to be a logo. Once I have this, I can keep this in kind of like the vertical orientation if I want to. Um, or if you want to, you can kind of adjust it uh, and rotate it so that's this way. And then we're just going to start to bring in the images. So the first image I'm going to bring in is my logo. And the logo that I made was Big Dog Coffee. So I'm going to bring my first logo here. And that's going to be my first quadrant. Then I'm going to go over here and duplicate and then bring it to the next quadrant. And then I'm going to duplicate again. And we want kind of like a four by four where you have four versions of this kind of next to each other. Um, if they overlap, you can kind of drag them underneath so that one's on top of the other. And we can also resize these two so they all fit. So I'm going to duplicate this one more time. I'm going to bring it over here. All right, and then once I got everything, I'm just going to choose all my objects here by leaving my hand on shift and then clicking multiple things. And I can just make them a little bit smaller by just dragging them. You could also do them individually too, but I'm just going to drag these into place. And I kind of have my 4x4 four four here ready to work. So the main thing that you want to do with this when it's time to actually add color is you want to start to label these. So this is logo 2. This is logo one. This is logo four. And this is logo three. All right, so I got everything kind of organized. Um, now when it's time to add color, I can just do my typical drag and drop where I just choose my color and I go to the section and I can just click and start to fill things in. Um, but if you want to be a little bit more deliberate about how you're approaching this, you can go to the magic wand. And if you make the selection of the magic wand, you can actually paint stuff in here and make it a little bit more controlled. Um, so if I wanted to do this, I can make my brush bigger and I can get like a nice big brush over here and start to kind of fill this in with a fade. Um, so you could use this to add different kind of looks and designs so it could feel a little bit more unique and you can kind of control it a little bit more by doing that. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can do kind of like a fade or an ombre. So I'm going to select the inside here and then what I'm going to do is go over here to the gradient and I could use that same color but if I click um, in the place that it's selected you'll see kind of like a color fade. Ooh, that was a little bit small. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to zoom in and we're going to do in between here. So I'm going to go to this and if I do my line, it's going to create kind of like a fade from one side to the other that's similar to this. If I deselect, you can see that. We can also change the direction. If I want to go top to bottom, I can do that way. Um, and then I can also make this kind of more detailed inside. So um, be sure to use the magic wand to help you select certain areas when you're going to do color because it will definitely make things a lot easier for you when it's time to do it. Um, that same ombre fade you can do in the background. Um, so let's say if I wanted to try something like this. This is going to cover it, but you'll see kind of what I mean with the fade. So you kind of have this beginning of a fade happening. And if I just wanted to finalize this, maybe make the dog's ears black and just kind of adjust a couple things. So there you have it. That's kind of just like filling in your logo and having all of the details there with it. Um, once you have this done, uh, you definitely want to share it. But my, the goal today is just to get the four by four done so that you could have four different versions of your image. That's it.